Hello folks, Everchanger here, and welcome back to more Earthbound Beginnings. Last time, we conquered the monstrosity that is Duncan's Factory. And we were able to clear the railroad tracks north of Marysville of rubble, so now we can presumably take the train onwards. This time, that is what we are going to be doing. Now I should warn you, I haven't really read over the walkthrough for the next part of the game very well, so we're going to be flying by the seat of our pants. First things first, I want to withdraw $72 because, spoiler alert, train tickets cost money. So we are going to be heading north out of the city here and hopefully nothing too terribly gruesome happens to us on the way there. That's a reasonable hope, right? I feel like it should be, but in Earthbound Beginnings, you really never know. Anyway, let us get into a fight. Alright, I think I can take down this guy in one turn. Oh yeah, if I get a smash attack, then definitely. Nice. Alrighty, Mad Car became a pile of junk. Indeed. Head right on up here. And you can see that is where the rocket made impact, and it seems that it was very, very effective in clearing the way forward. Which is really, really nice, because that is where we are going next. Alright. Hopefully, we can make it by pretty quick. Can I even check this? Does it say anything special? No. It says no problem. Like, well, there's a rocket embedded in the ground, so there's some sort of problem here. But maybe the game just doesn't consider it to be that much of an issue. Alright. Now, you guys might have noticed we haven't gotten a new melody in a long time. I think the last time we got a melody was episode 4, and it is currently episode 8. I think we're getting another melody soon. Not entirely sure of the circumstances, but I'm pretty sure we are. Anyway, head right on in here. We want to talk to this dude over here. Well, I don't know how far the train goes through, but you need a ticket to ride. Care to buy one? I need to buy tickets to Reindeer. Then it's $32. Yep, the price listed up there is for one person, and there's two of us, so we need to spend $32 to get to Reindeer. Yes. And this is one of the more iconic parts of the game, actually taking the... Oh, what's this train called? It's called... What is, what, what is it called? I don't actually know what this train is called. I know this train line actually has a name, I just don't know what it is. But yeah, the music in these little cutscenes is very, very iconic, I feel like. A lot of people know this particular song from Earthbound Beginnings. Anyway... It actually is a pretty long line, and it definitely does show you that, yes, this entire overworld is very much so connected. It's weird, it was more possible to do that on the NES because everything was just a gigantic static image, and then later on open worlds kind of stopped happening because of the technical limitations, and now they're sort of coming back, which is really cool. Anyway, we want to talk to this lady here. Are you going to Snowman? Uh, yeah. I found this hat. I believe it's the property of a girl who lives there. Please take it to her. And off she goes. And if we check our inventory, Ninten now has the hat. Very nice. Now we want to head back over to this guy. Well, I don't know how far the train goes through, but you need a ticket to ride. We want to go to Snowman. Union is where we just came from, just pointing that out. Then it's $40. Yes. And you have to press A twice there, which is really odd. Anyway, with that, the train is going to cut through an area called Spookan. But we don't want to go there yet. This is Spookan Station right here that we just passed. We do not want to go there quite yet. We want to go to Snowman first. Alright. I'm just glancing over the walkthrough really quick so I know sort of exactly what it is we are doing. Alrighty. Now, I want you guys to listen to this music very carefully. This is the music that plays in the boarding school in Winters in Earthbound. How awesome is that? Also, lady, what is wrong with your face? Alrighty. Anyway, head out here, and god, I love this song so much. Alright. The walkthrough says it is a short walk from town. Alright, where am I going? Because I do not want to get lost out here in this wintry craziness. 
Alright, we want to go this way. This way to town. Alright, let's see what we're up against. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, I don't know how unfair this is. I get the impression it's pretty friggin' unfair, so we're just gonna go through this and see what we get. Also, wow, he survived that. Oh, okay, it only did two damage. That's not bad. What does it do to Lloyd? 16! Okay, that's a lot. Uh, mm, Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's bad. Alright, we do not want to have any more of this happen, so we're gonna have Ninten hit there and have Lloyd hit there. We can take another round of this, I think. Alright, good. One Ninten attack and one Lloyd attack does seem to be able to take these guys out, which is awesome. Alright, if everyone just bites Ninten instead of- yeah, there we go. Ninten is a lot higher defense, so we should be okay. And that should bring down that wolf right there, very nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna gang up this time, so we're both gonna go after the wolf C. Alright. Gonna take a bite for Lloyd. And then another bite for Lloyd. Alright, that's a, that's a lot. Alright, I'm hoping this isn't the norm for battles in this area, because that's kind of a lot of damage, and I do not appreciate taking kind of a lot of damage, because it's bad. Also, he missed Lloyd. That is... that's pretty clutch. Alright, how much experience do we get for that? Holy cow. A lot. Alright. Lloyd advances to the next level. Very nice. Alright. Also, one thing worth noting, when we do actually get into town proper, this is kind of the same thing as the elementary school a couple of episodes ago. The people here have colds. So you don't want to talk to them because they will cough in your face, and Bigfoot drew near. Okay. But yeah, you don't want to make conversation because, oh wow, he knows PSI powers. And that does a lot of damage. Alright. Cool. I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, don't talk to people in this area because odds are they will cough and hack on you. And it's no good. Alrighty. Anyway, let's head right on up here. And I think we want to go to a house in the northwest corner of town. Is that this one? Yes, we want to talk to this guy. Believe it or not, I am a healer. Uh, refresh? Oh, it costs money. Alright, forget it. Alright. I think we actually want to talk to our dad right now, actually, believe it or not. This is your dad, excuse me, I need to see the person playing this game. Alright. Hello there. I appreciate your kindness to Ninten. I am the boy's dad. Could you please let me know your name? Thank you for your cooperation. Alright, and we can actually enter in our name. And it looks like we have to enter it in all caps. Which works. Anyway. My name is David, and if I go any further, I'd feel a little comfortable about giving up personal information, so we're not going to do that. Alright. Anyone who's played Earthbound on the Super Nintendo, you probably know what this is for. Are you sure that it is spelled correctly? I'd hope so. It's funny, sometimes whenever I have to put my name in for something like this, like, whenever I'm naming myself in a Pokemon game, since, like, it's a commitment of at least several hundred hours, I actually get out my driver's license and double-check the spelling. Oh, god. Thank you for spending your time with me. I too have urgent things to do, so I'd better go now. Slam. Alright, I'm pretty sure we can still use that phone for saving. It's just a neat little thing that they decided to put in here. Alright, anyway, we want to head over to the east side of town now, and luckily since we're in town I don't think stuff can actually attack us, so we should be okay. Alright, let's check the sign. Snowman Chateau. Straight ahead. That is where we want to go next. Alrighty, so let's head right on up and over this way and get attacked. Awesome. And of course it's just one wolf this time. I love how the last time we got attacked by a quote-unquote lone wolf. There was friggin' four of them. Because, you know, why not, right? Ay ay ay. Alrighty. Gonna be attacking this guy right here. And there we go. Lone wolf became quiet. Very nice. 
Alright, now I believe right over here is that chateau was mentioned is where that chateau is that was mentioned. I can enunciate. Alright, here we are. Alright, let's talk to you. What do you say? My daughter Anna has never been a brave girl. But she is kind of heart and has a secret strength. Oh really? You have appeared. Just like in my dream. The boy in my dream looked just like you. Could this possibly be your hat? Are you Ninten? Yes. I must go on a trip to find my mom, and... I needed your help. So I've been waiting for you, Ninten. First, let's go see what's happening in Youngtown. Daddy, goodbye. Next time, Mommy will come back with me. Believe in us. And with that, we now have a third party member. We have Anna. She mentioned that her mother is missing. Believe it or not, that is actually a very important detail for some stuff that happens around the end of the game. But anyway, let us check out Anna. This is what Nintendo's looking like. This is what Lloyd's looking like. And then... This is what Anna is looking like. Luckily, she actually comes pre-packaged with Life Up Beta, which I don't think Nintendo even has yet. But yes, she is level one. Uh... All right. So as a result of that, I think a trip over to Magicant is required because going forward with a level one party member would be comically stupid. Plus, since Lloyd is actually hurting pretty bad, I think heading over to Magicant will be no big deal. Plus, because once we leave there, we'll be very strong and also really rich. Getting back to Snowman really shouldn't be all that big of a deal, so we're just going to head back over to Magicant. Now, the walkthrough I'm looking at recommends level 12 to 16 for Anna. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ridiculous and get her to like level 20, just because, again, I like being super overpowered. But also, as a result, this episode might be a little bit short because we're going to have to do some grinding, and I really, really, really don't want to actually go through grinding on screen. Also worth noting, this guy heals you one at a time, so you actually have to select who to heal, and then you have to go in again and then heal your second party member. And now that we have Anna, we have to scroll down to her and heal her also if you want to get a full heal out of that guy, which is really frustrating. Alright. Now first things first, we want to head around here because I want to make special mention of this because I don't want to start the next episode in Magicin, so I'm just going to grab this now. If we head all the way around here, one of these guys has something for us. Yes, I am the cat who swims on the ground. Guess what is in my hand? Okay. Alright, who is it that I want to talk to? Is it you? Oh, wait, hang on. I know what we're doing. We need to go over here and have Anna use telepathy. Do you know what I have in my hand? That is right. A ribbon. This magic ribbon will give strength. Magic ribbons are only for girls. Alright, so if we head into our goods... Who got that ribbon? Anna did. So if we use it, it will equip like that. And is it actually an equip equip? No, it's not. It just actually just increases stats, which is really, really interesting. Nice. All right. I believe that's everything I want to grab in this area. So in between episodes, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be healing up Anna not healing up, training up Anna, and healing up whenever necessary, and also buying those three pieces of equipment that we would use um, on the other guys. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to head back over this way, and we are going to be saving the game. A little bit short this time, I think. If I'm looking over at my clock and reading it correctly, I think it's a bit shorter. But I think the Duncan's Factory episode was a bit long, especially since I actually had to jump cut walking all the way back to Marysville. So... I guess it counts. I am the Mysterious Mimicker. I've transferred $690 into your account. After the amount you've spent, the balance is $7,598, so we should be able to afford all that stuff easy. Spend your money wisely. Well, the next level requires 223 for Ninten, 589 for Lloyd, and 9 for Anna. By the way, do you want to save? Oh yes. 
Okay, but I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night, and rest. See you later. Remember, push in and hold reset while turning the power off, okay? Slam. So, this past episode of Earthbound Beginnings, we took a train all the way over to Snowman and returned Anna's hat, which I just noticed is now rendered on her sprite, which is really interesting. And we also got Anna as a party member, which means we now have a full posse of three, which is very, very nice. In between episodes, we are going to be healing up... Not healing up, I keep on making that mistake. Training up Anna, probably to around eh, about 20 or so. And then next time on Earthbound Beginnings, at her request, we are going to go check out Youngtown, which I have no clue how to get to, so that should be very, very interesting. So without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.